Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda for the NES. I am TWF Disturbed, and today, yes, today, we will be going to take on the first dungeon of the game. Finally, after all these episodes, after grabbing all these items, we got the sword, we got the suit, we got the blue suit, we will be going to the first dungeon today, and we will be the we will be completing the first dungeon today, if I can talk. Okay, so um, if anyone, if you don't know how to save in this game, it, you have to do it with a second controller, and it, it's really weird. But whenever you start your game back, it brings you here to the beginning screen. So we're going to start here and head to the first dungeon. So we're going to head right and then head up. And we're just going to keep heading up. And we're going to keep heading up. But, uh... Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good day today. Uh, we're going to take a hit. And did you see that? Oh, that was awesome. That blue suit giving us the extra hit. So, here is the first dungeon. I told you I wasn't lying to you. Now, if you exit this dungeon and you head back in, it will... If I'm not mistaken, it unlocks that top door. It does unlock that top door. But we're not going to do that yet. We're not going to take that cheap way. We're going to head left... And we're going to kill some Kiesk. Uh, maybe we're going to kill some Kiesk. Uh, yeah. We were going to try to kill some Kiesk. I do not know why they don't call them bats in the Zelda series. I know they probably don't now because they've been doing it for so long. But uh, I kind of glitched that door. Uh, and, you know. Now, in this room, we're just going to have to kill the skeletons. Now, you just have to kill the one with the key. You're not going to get anything special. But, we're going to sit here and kill these guys just for the extra rupees. Because, of course, as you've seen, I have not been doing good with my rupees. Uh, now, this dungeon, this is called the Eagle. And that's because the shape of the uh, map uh, is shaped like an eagle. An eagle. An eagle. <laughs> English. But, uh, as you can see, with since we got the uh, upgrade on the sword, it is so easy to kill these guys. Um, and we're going to go in here, and we're going to take a right at this room. And have a thousand keys come at us. Oh my god, could you imagine in real life if you were just like walking in this dungeon and all these bats were coming and they were attacking you and all this. And we're going to get the compass. Now what the compass is going to do, it's going to show us where the uh, boss room is in the game. So now that we have the compass, um, we are going to backtrack. Again, again, like I said, in Zelda you backtrack all the time. Which of course, I mean, there's no other... There's not many options, but we're going to head left here, and we're going to come in this room, and again, there's going to be all these bats. Oh my god, why are there so many bats in this game? Uh, uh, so I found out I'll be returning to work here in about a week. So I have eight days. Now you didn't have to kill all those bats. I killed all those bats because I'm tired of all these bats. I hate these bats. Uh. But we're going to head up and use one of our keys. Now the one thing about this game compared to the other Zeldas is your keys carry over uh, from dungeon to dungeon. And uh, uh, anyway, you can go left. There's no need to go left. There's uh, nothing really in the left. So we're just going to head right and not waste the key. But like I was saying about the keys... They carry from dungeon to dungeon in this game, and uh, it really helps once you get to some other dungeons, just so you can skip stuff if you know there's not rooms you don't need to go into. But as you can see, we are going to grab the map, and now as you can look in the upper left corner, there is a map shaped kind of like an eagle, is is what they say. Uh, but we need to uh, head to the right, or no, wait, no. Not right. No, we're not going to go right yet. We're going to head up. Uh, and we're going to head up and kill some more uh, Skotellas or Skeletas. I forgot what they're called in this game. I'm so sorry. Uh, Staffles. Staffles. And uh, we're going to head up. And 
And these guys right here, you need to watch them. They uh, they take two hits and they throw boomerangs. Uh, they throw them actually pretty far. Uh, but we're going to grab the key here. And uh, we're going to head uh, to the left, I believe. Yeah. Um, yeah, we need to head left. And as soon as you run into the door, keep holding left. Keep holding left. Because those are going to fall down at you. Uh, we're going to bait them. Let them come back. Go back this way. And uh, push that block. And we're going to head down. Now we're going to get into like the 2D platforming of this game. Uh, you can't jump in this game. Uh, it's just all like this just weird 2D thing. And uh, we're going to get the bow. Now we already had the arrows. So uh, we're going to grab the bow in this, in this dungeon. So uh, now the uh, in this version of the game. Bait those. Uh, you don't get arrows. You use your rupees as your arrows. Uh, so yeah, it's it's cool and it's not because I, I mean you're using a lot of rupees. But uh, so we need to backtrack now and head down here. We can go to the right and uh, in here we're going to get more of these uh, boomerang guys. Uh, the uh, glorious, glorious. I'm not sure how you say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> we kill them and then we get. A boomerang of our own so now we can uh, throw a little bit of a boomerang <laughs> and we're gonna head to the right and watch out for the uh, hands uh, oh shoot what are they called uh, wall crawlers or wall keepers uh, wall masters wall masters and you just kill them. Uh, if they grab you, I'm pretty sure they bring you back to the beginning of the dungeon. And as you can hear as we're getting close, we are here to the first boss of the game. And uh, three hits. Uh, I know it's, it's not a lot. We did get the upgrade on the sword. We're going to grab this. We're going to head in this room. And we're going to head over here. And we're going to grab the first piece of the Triforce. That is going to do it, though, for this episode. We have our first... Uh, Triforce piece, and uh, we'll probably start out from the beginning of the game on the save here. That's it for this episode. Leave a like. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Have a good day.